haven't done this for two weeks already. Hey everybody, welcome back to It's All Relative. I'm so sorry that I haven't been posting for the last two weeks or something like that. I've uh, been very busy with, you know, personal stuff, uh, work and other stuff. Anyway, so I'm back here for today's episode. Uh, today's episode we're going to be doing is Community Day for Torchic, but I think that's not the main highlight. So the main highlight came two days ago or, um, let me show you guys something first. So yeah, got a shiny cube on. Um, it was during one of the events, previous events. Uh, didn't have time to really record, so couldn't really show you guys. So anyway, right now there's a new event where there is new modules, new Sinnoh Pokemon that has been released. So yeah, lots and lots of stuff to go through. But I think most likely you guys already know this by the moment I release this video. So yeah, you wanna check out Mystic Video or Trainer Tip. I'm pretty sure they already explained a whole bunch of it. But the main thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hunting for new brand new Sinnoh Pokemon and we're gonna evolve our Eevees into Glaceon and Leafeon and maybe a couple of uh, like Probopass and as well Magnezone as well. So yeah, there's, there's new Lure modules as well as I heard and I've seen actually. So yeah, um, lots of cool stuff happening. And also another important thing is Gibble. So the new Dragon Knight Pokemon, well, pseudo legendary Pokemon for Sinnoh region is out in the wild and we're gonna find it. So I know in the future we're gonna be having Gibble's community day, but until then, we want our Garchomp, right? So yeah, let's go get it. Uh, I think our community day is gonna start in about 40 minutes and I kinda have to make a move. Yeah, let's get out there. Looks like it might rain again. Damn you clouds. Alright guys, we have our first shiny Torchic today. I think right now that it's raining everywhere, everyone's kind of indoor, so we're kind of doing that right now. We are indoor, we're in the mall, and a shiny Torchic, 178. The color is a little bit weird, but I kind of like it. I like Blaziken especially, but a shiny Blaziken, the red color, it's super nice. So uh, yeah, let's just catch this right now. I'm kind of running out of golden berries as well. I don't know why, but it seems like recently a lot of the uh, drops from you know uh, a lot of the drops from like raids or whatever it's so little and especially if you spin poker subs you only get like two pokeballs or less than that um, nerfs you know okay so yeah shiny torch here we go sweet but it's not really good in ivs but that's fine we have a lot of shiny torchic to check right here so let's just do that really quickly okay one by one yeah one by one and it's very funny because right now it's kind of raining really heavily as you guys can saw from the clip right and it's torchic community day so it's kind of like i was hoping it would be sunny so that we can get all like the boosted kind of torchics but instead what we're getting is just really wet chickens you know our oh, shiny luck's not that great today maybe there is people in a uxi raid and there's no one inside. That's fine. We have a lot of torchics here. Give me. Mm. No, I swear to God, my fingers are so fat. I keep clicking the same one twice. Like, you'd see three times in a row. Holy shit! I'm not trying to click that guy. I'm trying to click this guy. No, I'm trying to click the middle one. Ah, this is so annoying. I swear to god, I can't click the middle one. But the good news is that it's not raining anymore, so it's a little bit better to walk outside. I think I'm most likely going to be walking outside soon enough, but uh, maybe I'll catch them all just so that I can see if I get a very good one. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to catch it so that I can click the middle one. Shit, man. Okay, the problem with raining is that it's nice, but after it stops raining, the humidity really hits you and the sweat begins. <laughs> Okay. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. The middle one I've been trying to click the whole time is a shiny. Oh, thank God I didn't give up on it. Thank the gods, man. Trick. Got it. Cool. All right. Not bad, not bad. So we only played for like 30 minutes. I already have two. So we are on a roll. But still no good IVs one. That's fine. Oh, 
Okay, while we are still hunting for more shiny torchics and the brand new Sinnoh Pokemon, we actually have a Yuxi that apparently had people to join within the last two minutes before it despawns. Uh, I really have bad luck when it comes to catching Yuxi because number one, the catch circle thing is really not accent friendly, you know, so you can only hit great most of the time and uh, I can't even hit great usually, so that kind of sucks. And you know, here's a very, very funny thing. Why do you think Yuxi is set as an Asian Pacific regional? Look at the eyes. Look at mine. <laughs> okay, it's a very self-inflicting Asian joke, but I don't know. You look at Ezelf and what's the other one? Ezelf and Mesprit, right? Their eyes are like huge, right? But Yuxi has straight line eyes, so what does that tell you? you know? I hope this Asian joke doesn't flag my channel, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, still can't catch it. I give up. I'm using pineapple berries already at this time. Wow, I'm not good at catching Yuxis. It must be that racist joke. It has to be. Oh wait, I caught it. <laughs> With a pineapple too. How nice. Not much luck on my, on my third one so far. I've been clicking it for like nearly half an hour already. So it's been about, about an hour since the event started. I am not doing really well with Torchic, I'm telling you. You know, I tend to think that I'm complaining a lot when it comes to the weather and how much it's so hot and it's so sweaty and stuff like that. Then I realized when you watch like the Singapore uh, community, uh, I mean, the Singapore Safari Zone, like from Trinitips, uh, DX1, Mystic7 and all the YouTubers, right? They all complain about how hot and humid it was in Singapore. So I don't feel so bad anymore complaining because I have to do this every single week when I come out and hunt for Pokemon. So they have it nice because they have nice weather in the US or something like that. Not us. We have it tough and rough. While we can't find another shiny Torchic, maybe we can find a shiny Shuppet, which I don't really have yet. Optimistic, man. And it's not. <laughs> and look, it's 4 o'clock right now and it's starting to rain again. According to the Pokemon Go app, anyway. Look what we have. <laughs> just as I just left the Shuppet, we have a shiny Torchic. I guess they were peeing for my cry, I don't know. 314, okay. Not the highest CP, but I'll take it. Hey, what happened here? Okay, they added like some kind of bar here so that I can't sit anymore. Why, why did you do that? Okay, shiny torch. Nice. And we have a whole bunch right here, so let's check one by one. Uh, come on! Uh, give me sh uh, Come on! Uh, damn. Not getting any luck, guys. Not getting much luck. We are back at Evolution Park. I'll call this evolution, evolution part because I always do my evolution here in every single community day. I don't know why. It's just one of those things, you know. Since we already have three, might as well start evolving one because I'm a very impatient person. Okay, so uh, let's evolve the shiny one first. So this is not the greatest IV, but it is certainly... So it's not bad. So maybe we'll find a better one later. But here we go. Shiny Torchic to a shiny Combuskin. The Chicken Little to a normal chicken. Hmm. I like the, sh the shiny variant color because the red actually looks super nice. Yeah, it's like the dark red one. It's not like the simple red that you see on a normal one. But yeah, oh my god, this is so cool. Combuskin is one of the most funniest looking Pokemon. Like seriously, like came up from a KFC ad or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. Here we go. Combuskin 2. Blaziken, guys. And after this, I'm going to be evolving a couple of like 100% or 98% on just so that I can get it out of the way and not forget. Blast Burn, man. It's a very powerful move for a fire type. And boom, here we go. Oh man, I like the white color uh, fur it has on his head. It's... <gasps> Wait, I don't have a Combuskin yet. That's right. Oh my god, shiny Pokedex. I forgot. <laughs> I thought I had a Combuskin, uh, a Blaziken all this time, but no, I don't. Oh my god. Awesome. Fire Spin and Blast Burn. That is the moveset that you want. 100% is a Combuskin. There we go. Nice. So, here we go. 100% Combuskin to 100% Blaziken. We're going to be using this in nowhere because I don't do PvP anymore and I don't think we'll be using this guy in raids. 
So it's just a trophy. <laughs> Come on, think about it. Since when you guys ever use fire types in your raids, you know? I don't know. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna name this guy to whoever comment on this video. The first person to comment on how many shinies you caught. I mean, how many shiny torches you caught for this community day. The first person I comment that, I'm gonna name your channel to my 100% blaze again. Better be quick. Stop typing. <laughs> okay, someone is pissed. Someone is pissed somewhere up there. You can hear that, right? Jesus, man. Calm down. Alright, we have two Blaziken. Oh, God damn. 98%. Okay, how about this? The second person that comment will get the 98% naming. You know? Come on, be quick, guys. Two people who comment quickly on how many torches you caught will get to be named in my Blaziken. Oh my god, guys! This is the Pokemon I'm looking for! Look at this! A Shalos! Holy crap! Holy crap! A Shalos! You know, I love Shalos so much because, well, the Pokemon anime, there is a, the evolution of this Shalos become a Gastrodon, and it was a Paul, Paul versus Ash Pokemon, right? Gastrodon, stand by for battle! What kind of move is that? Gastrodon's moving its head in a circle! Holy crap, that, that Gastrodon is amazing. So, kind of like Shalos a lot ever since then, but man, can't believe it. Our first Shalos, guys. I know there's a lot of Shalos everywhere right now, so it's not really super rare, but you know, I, I kind of like it. New Sinnoh region Pokemon. Uh, it's not Sinnoh region, yeah. New Sinnoh region. I don't know what I'm saying today. Torchic. I was like sitting around catching as much as I can and I hear a lot of people walking around me talking about how many they caught. Some people already caught like eight or nine already by now. I've only caught four. Ugh, so I'm really behind guys. Really behind. Okay, please give me good IVs. It's average. It's not the best. Boom! Nice. Okay, so we have our fifth shiny. Let's just say this is the fastest I got a back-to-back -back since the first two. It's not going fast, I'm telling you guys. It's a little bit noisy, but we found our six shiny. <laughs> you know, I'm just about to give up already, like, because I'm kind of running out of time soon. But at the same time, I'm kind of feeling like uh, I should really pull it through and play to the end because it's like about an hour to go. Sorry, the noise is really loud. It's really loud. Some kind of event going on. Uh, six shinies in total. I would say it's a good hunt. Oh! Ha! Seven! Alright. Okay. Things are looking better. Much better now. But you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for those layers, the uh, glacier layers, the mossy layers, the magnetic layers, right? So that I can do some evolution for the Sinnoh Pokemon. And it's really loud, let me change places. What, what if you put the special layers during community day, you know? It says that layers last three hours, right? So, have anyone tried, like, if you put a special layers on community day for that three hours, does it last three hours or does it only last 30 minutes because it's not a normal layer? Let me know because I'm actually curious. I never checked it out yet. Okay, I've been catching a lot of Torchic that I feel like eating KFC after this or Nando's, you know? Oh right, I forgot one more thing. So, it's a good thing I remembered last minute as it is. I remember when Gen 3 first came out, my first ever Gen 3 Pokemon was a Torchic. So, this one. It's 14 CP, it's crap. I don't think the IV is any good. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I was wrong. The IV was really good. Well, it was semi good, like 80%-ish. First Gen 3 Pokemon, we're gonna evolve that. So this is gonna be our starter-ish. 39 CP Blaziken. Holy shit, man. That is some OP crap right there. And we have number eight. Sweet, three, two, two. Oh. If you're in a Dota world, you know what 322 means. I don't know. You guys watch Dota? 
If some of you guys watch Dota, let me know in the comment section because 322 is definitely a very common number for you guys. So before we end off this episode, look what we have here. We have brand new Pokemon. Uh, before that, we're gonna do some shiny checks. Anyway, looks like none of them are shiny. Um, is the Pidgey shiny? No, Caspar is not shiny also. We have new Pokemon. We have Cherim, guys. Now, uh, I know Cherim is... I don't really know how Cherim works. I need to go study this. But basically, I know there's like an overshadow. There's a sunshine kind of uh, form. So that's... The first form, I can't recall it. My Sinnoh knowledge is not that great. I'm just letting you guys know first, okay? We, but we have a Cherim that is 444 CP. So if any of you are very superstitious, look away right now. <laughs> Let's use a Pineapple Berry for this. We have two of them. So we can catch both and get six candy from this. Awesome! <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. We have brand new Pokemon. I think this is the second form, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this has to be a second form. It's not an, it's an evolution form, I think. Or something. Is it a single form? I've never encountered this Pokemon even when I was playing the main series. Oh man, there's like a few more here. There's like four here. What the heck is that about? Alright, but we are still looking for a Gibble. Have any of you guys actually found a Gibble? A wild Gibble? Let me know. I want that Gibble. I really want that Garchomp too. But, uh... If the spawn rate is very low, I think I'll most likely have to hatch it. Most likely. Well, that's all she wrote for Community Day for Torchic. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know how many shinies you got, guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Take care.